Hey you guys, welcome back Klaus here and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Let's Fix That Rush. Uh, this is my channel 10 Rush account that I inherited from a friend. Archimedes is its name and it had a level 2 king and no queen when I inherited it. Now we have a level 4 queen and if you look at our profile, we now have max barbarians and archers guys. So if we look, max barbarians and archers and max town hall 9 army camps who did have tunnel, uh, uh, tunnel 7 or 8 max army camps for a while. And when we first got the account, we had... Uh, Town Hall 8 Barge. So we are making headway on the base. It's, this is level, or this is episode 7. It's been nearly two months since we started this series, and it has been one heck of a series. It has been a lot of work, guys. But let me show you something freaking crazy, guys. Let me see if I can find it. It was a monster raid. Um, I think this is it. Stone Fist. You guys can see it. It's a Town Hall it's a what is that i mean it's a town hall 11 with no eagle artillery and no infernos and no expo so this is clearly a uh an engineering type of player but look at these collectors and these mines guys they are chocked full of loot i mean these two drills over 5500 dark elixir on the base and it's mostly in these two drills and uh this one on the outside so guys i'm gonna barge the crap out of this base we're gonna grab a ton of loot and I didn't mean to I didn't mean to speed up the time there but since there's no loot on the bottom left hand side of the base I was able to concentrate my barch a little bit more just spread them out all over the base on the uh, top left the top right and the bottom right and really just clamber down break down the base and we don't even have to worry about the walls I mean the archers be being level 7 max town hall uh, 10 archers they are super <laughs> they're so much better guys I recommend that archer upgrade because it, it, it's so OP guys we have grabbed so much loot over 4,000 uh, dark elixir which is insane you guys have seen my previous let's fix that rush uh, episodes and it has been a struggle to find loot but I, all of a sudden as soon as I got these archers things started looking up we we're able to actually get loot in a decent amount and it, I think it had a lot to do with my perseverance like I said two boosts before just to prepare for this video and um, it it's just been it's just been awesome guys I got a big group of archers on the left now that are gonna break into the wall and get smashed by the king um, in that wizard tower I've got my king and my queen level 2 king level 4 queen no special abilities um, but they still do good job they still do good work getting into the base queen unfortunately is gonna break in she's gonna go around because there's a broken hole over here she's gonna go around and actually take out the elixir out of collector or the storage which is good but then she gets destroyed by the king I want her to grab that dark elixir out of the storage it's not gonna happen um, so she grabs that the king is busy on on this max wall it takes him like three minutes to get through the wall so the queen works on the elixir storage and then she's gonna step up aggro the enemy king and then the level 34 queen look at this level 34 king my bad level 34 king is gonna two shot this queen one oh two three shot okay two and then boom three shotted our queen he is a boss and of course our king is over here and i decided you know what he's gonna get shot down in two seconds once it gets up here that grand warden's gonna shoot him down so i just closed out the raid but guys over three hundred and fifty thousand golden elixir which is amazing loot by the way for this rushed account and over four thousand dark elixir and i got a couple more to show you and then i'm gonna do a lot of explain explaining to y'all about what i'm doing how i'm recovering the base and how it works so the next one I want to show you is just a simple dead town online I don't find very many of these especially with over half a million gold and nearly half a million elixir and a decent amount of dark elixir but guys like I said this is incredibly rare and I got two of them in a row tons and tons of loot I'll show you the rest of my attack log in just a moment but just barching I, I, I do my my four fingers like this plant it and then I go side to side you guys can see that uh, that, that's how I'm deploying my troops. That's how I get rid of those troops so quickly. Um, because with Barch, I've found out that the quicker you can put down your troops, the more effective the archers will be because the barbarians will actually still be alive. Uh, putting them down one finger, maybe two fingers at a time, is just way too slow for me. So, um, all the barbarians ha and the archers are now dead. We did lock on to over 330,000 gold, 400,000 elixir, which is insane. And now we got our king and our queen. What are we going to do with it? Well, there is a, um, a dark elixir drill. I'm trying to get dark elixir so I can upgrade that archer queen to level 5. Uh, that's a big deal because I want to start trying to do queen walk but I also want that special ability and so I need a, a lot more dark elixir so I'm starting to try to <laughs> focus on dark elixir but you guys know the drill when you're trying to work on a 
uh, a rushed base. You're trying to work on a, a rushed account. You have to get the elixir. Look at this. Dark elixir. She snipes it. She's about to die. And she takes the plunge with all that dark elixir in hand. So 339,000 gold, 404,000 elixir, 324 dark elixir. Um, as far as elixir and gold is concerned, this is incredible and i'm so excited to be able to finally get this kind of loot guys so a lot of it has to do with my trophy count so i'll try to explain this as best as i can look at this up uh, 300 000 200 000 100 169 000. so i mean it started out with a decent i had a decent day up to recently so let's um let's watch this one it's 357 thousand elixir um, and a dead town hall 10. So, I mean, I started finding these dead bases when I got up to the gold leagues. The about 15, 1600 trophies is where the magic truly happens. Um, before, I got a lot of flack. I got a lot of comments and a lot of my clan mates even giving me crap because um, I was in the silver leagues and I told them, guys, I don't have the loot to use stronger armies to actually win attacks. And I was I was um, hitting town halls, I was hitting town hall eights, even though I'm a town hall 10, just to trophy push my way up. There was no way for me to trophy push aside from using weak armies like Mass Goblin and Barch. And guys, now that I am up here in the gold leagues, the loot is so much better. Guys, I'm finding loot like this, 200, 300, 4, 500,000 loot. It is incredible, guys. So I was kind of like in a depression, not in, not emotional depression, but more like in an economic depression. My base could not gain loot because I couldn't find any, which means I could not trophy push very efficiently because I couldn't afford the more expensive armies. And fortunately for me, fortunately for us in the series, we finally were able to lock on to the uh, to Gold League and, and all of a sudden things just started looking a heck of a lot better. And also, guys, like I said in the last episode, so we should have renamed this account Snowball because it is literally a snowball. We're going, we're starting out small and working our way up. And now that we've got this Max Barch and eventually level five queen, um, it's going to be a whole new story, a whole new uh, fantasy for us to finally be able to just throw down some big attacks and actually win the attacks. Like that, like now that I've got these Max Archers, I'm winning attacks and it's incredible. So I took up the uh, Town Hall just to get the trophies, just to stay up, because I do still lose attacks pretty often. Um, and every little thing we do on the base is going to improve our chances of winning the attacks and gaining loot, and um, it's just going to get easier as we go. So, with all that being said, guys, the loot has been absolutely incredible. I've got one Barch army trained up, and I've got a few minutes for the next one, so let's go out and find a raid. I'll cut it if it doesn't come quickly, but I want you guys to see how quickly earlier, earlier, like, like, 10, 20 minutes ago, before I started recording, as I prepared for the episode, um, the loot was just flooding in, guys, and it was incredible. I was boosted. Um, I was just just having a blast. I was watching some YouTube and just chilling. YouTube and chill is what I was doing, so it was, it was really awesome, but... Um, you know what? I will find a base, a big base, hopefully, if I can find one. They're, they're definitely diamonds in the rough. Uh, it's like finding a needle in the haystack, but if I find one, I will show you guys live in, um, hopefully, in a second. So, I'll be back with you guys, um, soon. Oh, also, so that I don't forget, if you look on the top right-hand side of the screen, you can see that my, uh, badge is displaying a new clan. That new clan is called Balloon Parade. Balloon Parade. Look at this base. We can hit the base while we talk. Awesome. Sweetness. All right. So, uh, let me put down these barbarians for this wizard tower first. All right. So, um, anyway, Balloon Parade is a an account or a clan that uh, one of my elders in the Knights of Zion actually runs. And a lot of the Knights of Zion mini accounts reside in Balloon Parade as we've grown, as we've needed space for other members, other, you know, subscribers, members of the class family that have joined. Um, so we, we have, uh, basically we've, we have included the Balloon Parade clan into our clan family. And so one of the requests was that I include Archimedes in Balloon Parade. So uh, that's to explain why the uh, clan badge changed up there. And also I will be showing the clan tag in case you would like to join the Balloon Parade. Um, I'm sure they're accepting Town Hall 8s. I'm not sure about 7s, but obviously anything up above that as well. So um, it looks like most of the loot that is still remaining in the base is going to be on the south side of the base. So I'm going to drop my King to where it'll tank this cannon. I'll use my Archer to take out that cannon. And then we should have a clean look towards 
reward all this loot that's in the rest of the base also we got a whole bunch of archers look at those look at those arrows guys when those archers shoot those arrows are sick i love it Oh, man. So the archers coming in. They're taking out everything. They're taking out the town hall. So we definitely won with a two-star at least. And uh, we might be able to grab that three-star if our level two baby king can get in soon. Actually, our queen is being targeted now by that Tesla. So that is a bad thing. Um, hopefully, the queen can take out the Tesla before the Tesla. Come on. Come on. Yes. All right. Cool. So we were able to take out the Tesla before our queen died to the, um, to the Tesla. But unfortunately, I think we're going to miss out on this elixir out of this collector here because our queen got shot down in two shots by that cannon so we are going to grab a high percentage 93 percent two star and make all kinds of profit 249,000 elixir plus a whole bunch of gold a little bit of dark elixir and if we go into our quick nope if we go into our uh quick train the barch uh that town hall nine uh level occupancy so 220 barch troops at max level is 80,000 elixir so we are able to make some major uh profit with that and then, hey 38 seconds before our second barch is ready to go so i think what i will do is um start up the quick train for the second barch and it's already been about 10 minutes it's gonna be a long video today guys because i'm going to explain very specifically at the end of the video in my progress base how the rest of this series is going to go as well as why i've done what i've done so far so if you're really interested in how to fix a rushed base the end of this video will be very important to you um so be ready for that but i do want to do another live barch raid we got five seconds for that so that was awesome timing unfortunately our king and our queen will not be alive but that's gonna have to be all right i'll, I'll hit it i'll hit a really weak base <laughs> All right, so I'll find another base with a whole bunch of loot and be back with you guys in a moment. All right, guys, I found one. It's not massive, like super massive, like 500,000 elixir and gold, but this is the kind of base that I never saw before I came to Gold League, and now I'm running into it. It took me about three, four minutes of searching, which... Uh, was a while as I stood here under the baking lights in front of the camera looking awkward. So anyway, let's throw down these Barch troops. And since the base is pretty evenly spread with the loot, I'm just going to, like I've done before, four finger deploy just like so. So starting at the top, uh, four finger and deploy. Now before you uh, start to... Str uh, spr uh, see that it tried to zoom in there um before you try to throw down your troops in a way to where you start going over to the side you have to click and hold for a second before you go uh just keep that in mind that is a that's important key tool to uh to success with this kind of deployment uh deployment style so we are getting most of this loot we got the dark elixir out of that drill over there all the loot on the outside this was a low level town hall nine this was a rushed town hall nine and what would be lovely and delicious is if we could grab the dark elixir out of that storage and i think we got a pretty good group of archers that might be able to do it we got all the elixir out of that uh one collector down there so now look at this guys look at all these archers get it get it before the mortar hits you hurry oh wow these archers survive mortar shots that is sweet that is awesome. We got all that dark elixir out of the storage. That was awesome. Now, uh, to top it off, to put the cherry on top, it would be nice if we could, uh, you know, take out the town hall, but we don't have any heroes to help out with that. So that's okay. That's cool. We still got 260,000 gold, 290,000 elixir, and 900 dark elixir, which, let me, let me just say this. The average dark elixir grab that I used to get before Max Archers was about two or three hundred so 900 is massive guys you have to realize the perspective of where we're at here uh being a, a rushed account grabbing 900 dark elixir is pretty sweet especially since our queen is like sub town hall nine standard if you really think hard about it so anyway guys we got our troops they are training i'll go ahead and start the next one just for later but for now at this point it's time to spend some loot and give you guys the ultimate breakdown of what we're doing so Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Write some notes and ask questions in the comments because this is going to be a an earful. All right, I have collected, I've got my thoughts together, and I'm ready to give you guys the spell. So, whenever it comes down to recovering a rushed base, I think it's, a, it's important to understand what a rushed base is first. If you are a veteran watcher of the channel in the video, I apologize if this is all old news, but stay tuned anyway because you might hear something that you, you needed to... Uh, to hear again so what it is is a rushed account a rushed base is a town hall let's say a 10 9 8 whatever without the 
corresponding laboratory. So say the troops in your laboratory, like, like this one, this one was a Town Hall 10 with Town Hall 8 troops. And so what that means is in the matchmaking machine, it wants to match you up with other Town Hall 10s, or if you're a Rush Town Hall 11, it gives you Town Hall 11 bases or whatever, right? So I'm a Town Hall 10, so what it wanted to do is put me with Town Hall 10s in the matchmaking. And since I didn't have Town Hall 10 troops, it was extremely difficult for me to beat those. But that's okay, keep searching, find a weaker base, right? Well, that would be fine and good in theory if it weren't for loot the, the loot penalty. The loot penalty says that if you hit a base that's lower, so if you're a Tunnel 10, if you hit a Tunnel 9 or an 8, you get less loot. And what that does is um, that really hinders you in getting loot. And so it, it, it's very difficult to accumulate loot without having to take a break because of real life or because of the, the uh, if you click the shield button, it says on the bottom time until person to break one hour, 11 minutes. It, it takes a long time to get loot and you might end up getting interrupted. Somebody comes in, you've got low level defenses maybe, and you get destroyed on defense and then they take all of your loot. So it's, it's a big struggle to to be able to recover the base on a strictly loot basis. Of course, we're not using gems, so it has been a big job. So the first step, and I, I wanna stress this, I've said this in many videos, the absolute first step in recovering your rushed base is going to be your laboratory. Now, fortunately, we've upgraded a laboratory to Town Hall 10 level, which is level eight. Um, the next level would be for Town Hall 11. And so once you have that laboratory, to that max level if not before you want to start doing your troops now i've maxed out my barch and that is a huge deal because it's the only attack that i've been using however because my queen is level four now level five is when you get her first royal cloak special ability that royal cloak makes her super powerful even at level five she is super powerful and so i am interested in trying the baby queen walk once i get her level five that means that there's two very, very important upgrades in the laboratory that we need to do. The two are the healer, because, um, you know, look at the difference in the healing. Plus 16, you use four to six healers whenever you're using a queen walk. Those 16 times four, whatever that is, uh, 70 something, or, or if it's six healers, it could be up to 100 extra heal points per second. That is huge. And um, I've done uh, queen walks with level three healers. It is not fun. It is no bueno. So that is the absolute first thing we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Here we go. Boom. Three, two, one, if you wanted that. All right. So we have the healer going down now. We got a seven day upgrade before we have max healers. This is going to be absolutely key for our queen walk. But there's one more thing that's absolutely key in our queen walk. And that is the rage spell the rage spell is uh as a tool you use to rage your healers which increases their healing capability in case you run into a sticky situation where your queen is dealing with some sort of you know really intense spot on the base where there's a lot of defenses shooting at it you can use that rage spell and keep her alive and you might end up using a whole bunch of them to keep her alive um and uh, you can see guys it also increases the speed which is good but that's that uh, speed increase, that damage increase is what we're interested in. Plus 10%, that damage for the healer is its healing. So anyway, the raid spell is the next thing we're going to be doing. It's 3 million elixir. We don't even have that much yet. We just spent it all on the healer. Now, let's talk about what else is going to be done in the laboratory. Because you guys know, as I've said already three or four times, laboratory is the number one priority. I think it's easy to say that the first thing we want to consider is dark elixir we've been talking about elixir let's change gears a little bit dark elixir is what you need for your heroes and that is uh i mean i need thirty thousand for the archer queen i'm not going to get her to level five today although we're pretty close I and mean, we're only about six thousand dark elixir away um the dark elixir that you get all of it as a rushed account needs to go into your heroes because uh i mean the king should have been level 10 by town hall 8 should have been level 30 by town hall 9 and should be up to level 40 as a town hall 10 same thing with the queen the queen should be level 30 
before you even go to Town Hall 10. So that means we are 26 minimum, 26 levels behind schedule as a Town Hall 10 for the Queen. So that means that we have a ton of work to do with our Dark Elixir. So it's easy to say, it's I think it's a safe to say that we're not going to be spending any Dark Elixir in the laboratory for a very long time, especially since we're not going to be warring with this account. So that means that those upgrades in the laboratory will not be priority for a very long time time and that wraps up all the dark elixir conversation what about gold well gold obviously does not go into the laboratory troops at all the only thing you use gold for are walls and defenses and traps so whenever it comes to a rushed account i don't prioritize defenses because i i just feel like if you're gonna war eventually you're gonna want to keep your defenses down i will not be engineering this account by the way i have had some pretty non-heated but pretty technical discussions with my clan mates about this and if this account ever wants to be in friendly wars or anything of that nature it can't be uh engineered however that means that i need to use my heroes as a as a gauge to figure out where i need to put my defenses so we'll put more information out on that next episode for now just understand that i will not be upgrading defenses for quite some time i will be getting all of my walls to level eight before I do any more defenses. However, that does not say we aren't gonna be putting down our new bomb towers. Uh, we got two that we need to put down, each one are four million gold. I will be doing both of those very, very soon. So, gold, guys. So, traps are good. Uh, Teslas are extremely important. We got two level three, two level two, and um, obviously the most expensive gold upgrade on the base is the clan castle. We'd like to do that as well. All the traps are laid out, all the defenses are laid out, but for now, the main priority for our gold is going to be the walls. Like I said, getting them all to level eight, it's gonna take forever, all right? So that's a big job. But back to Elixir, the absolute crowning jewel of any rushed account is Elixir. Got 2,484,000 Elixir right now. That is a small amount of Elixir for what we need it for. So let's go back into our laboratory, which is where our Elixir is, ne is needed for the most part. Um, we have already removed any need for Dark Elixir for, or um, any need for Dark Elixir for the laboratory, but now we need to talk about the Elixir upgrades. And um, something that you guys need to know is that because I am trying to spend as little Elixir as possible for probably the next year, to be honest with you on this account, I will not be doing any air attacks with this account. No dragons, no balloons. They're all very elixir heavy. And so that means that these this dragon upgrade and this balloon upgrade will not be done for a very long time. And that also includes the haste spell, which I have not even unlocked yet, and the minion, but the minion wasn't included because it was dark elixir to begin with. So back to the conversation. What else? The giant is a huge benefit to the base. I will be upgrading that very, very soon. Probably after the Rage Spell, actually. We have the Goblin, which is another very important upgrade for the base. Uh, the Goblin Knife could be very beneficial to us, but in, uh, on top of the, the Goblin Knife, Giga Barge, one of my favorite attack strategies of all time. It's an early Town Hall 9 Dark Elixir grabbing strategy, as well as the Goblin Knife. Both of those require strong goblins, so this will definitely be upgraded in the near future, as well as the Wall Breaker, guys. The one more Wall Breaker upgrade is expensive as heck, but um, how many times have you failed an attack because of a crappy wall breaker? I mean, it's a bad deal. So the next conversation is the troops that are elixir, that are ground, because we already took out all the air troops, the ground troops that you don't really need for farming. And one of them is, unfortunately, the wizard, one of my favorite troops in the game. The wizard is great whenever you start getting into like higher level queen walk and stuff, but as far as like a top level priority for farming, the wizard is not in it, so we will not be upgrading the wizard for a long time. And then of course, my least favorite troop in the game, the P.E.K.K.A. Um, it's just slow, doesn't fit my personality. It has improved a lot since the Tesla uh, Tesla farm nerf, the, the P.E.K.K.A buff whatever however you want to call it it's becoming a very important troop for farmers i mean i mean for war players but as far as uh, farming is concerned uh, it's expensive and it's slow and i just don't enjoy it or appreciate it so that means guys we've already taken out everything of course we've got spells we've got the healing spell we're already going to be doing the raid spell we've got the jump spell all these spells are important the lightning spell not really that important and the freeze spell not really that important either for us at this point in the game so the top priorities for us in our laboratory will be our giant our goblin 
and our wall breaker. And let me make sure I didn't forget nothing. We got the balloon and the dragon for air. We get the wizard and the P.E.K.K.A. which are just backup troops and too expensive for me. I've got a few spells and then all the dark elixir which we will not be doing. So guys, that is the future plan of our laboratory. Hope it all makes sense. Hope you agree with it and understand why I'm going to prioritize certain things. Once this healer is done, the rage spell will be going down and then after that we'll be starting with our giants. So next thing on the list is going to be talking about the elixir upgrades on the base we've already kind of talked about the army camps there's 6.75 million elixir it is a huge job for me as a rust player with not on purpose I, it just happened that way i inherited the account you guys know the story um it's very hard to get that much elixir at this current point in the game so i'm not going to be prioritizing level 8 army camps for a while. I mean, it's going to happen eventually. Another thing that I'd like to prioritize are these dark elixir storage and drills. They're the, let's, let's call them the dark elixir infrastructure. And eventually, I mean, right now my max storage for dark elixir is 60,000 and I need it to be up very, very soon. 2.4 million elixir is a lot of elixir at this point in the game. But we're going to need it eventually because um, the Queen, I mean, right now it's a 30,000 uh, Dark Elixir upgrade. In just a few levels, we're going to max out. We're going to be, it's going to cost more to upgrade this dark, this Archer Queen than I'm going to be able to carry. And so we're definitely going to need to upgrade that as well as these, these drills. They're expensive. They take forever to upgrade. But free Dark Elixir, the, the hardest thing for me to get right now is Dark Elixir. Uh, so we definitely want to have that upgraded. They are kind of a middle priority behind making sure we keep that laboratory busy. And then moving along, the Spell Factory and the Dark Spell Factory. The Spell Factory unlocks the Clone Spell and also gives us another spell that we could use. That is actually very important now that we're going to be jumping into the Queen Walk, but it's not a top priority. And then the Dark Spell Factory unlocks the, the Earthquake Spell. I'm not going to bother with that because I'm not going to be using BBQ for dragons or balloons or lava hounds or anything of that nature. And I'm not going to be using Quad Quake because I'm Town Hall 10. I have Jump Spell. I've had them since Town Hall 9, so no point in really upgrading that at this point. And then, of course, the Barracks. I'm not using any advanced troops. There's no point in spending the Elixir right now on the Barracks. But it is something that will come probably after we get the Dark Elixir infrastructure finished up. So... Guys, I think that is going to do it for the um, the advice and the future plan of the base. Do, uh, gold going strictly into walls for a while. However, we need to spend some gold on some buildings just to keep the builders busy. I like to have one available, so we will be spending or using three of the builders today. Um, since I like pouring gold into walls as I'm off camera, in other words. So, um, one defense that I would really like to get going are these, these air defenses. Uh, it's just... It's just been ingrained in my head since Town Hall 7 to upgrade your air defenses for dragons. And of course, baby dragons are in the fray. Of course, balloons and lava hounds are in the fray. Everything is a threat to the base. Uh, those are very OP strategies. So I'm going to be upgrading my air defense. This one's 270,000 gold, I think. That's not very much, so we can definitely afford that in 3, 2, 1. Bam! Awesome, and I won't do two uh, two at once, so that's good enough for that. And then I've also got these two defenses that are low level, and this one as well. I think the cheapest one, if I click the builder button, is the cannon. So that's only a 12 day upgrade, 100,000 gold, and then the next cheapest are the is the archer tower. So my plan for my new defenses, the ones that kind of came with Tunnel 10 that I happen to inherit. Um, the, the plan with those is that we're going to get them to the equal level of the rest. So this this level uh, 5 arch tower, we want to get it to level 9. This uh, level 5 cannon, we want to get it to level 10. That way everything is nice and... Uh Nice and uniform. And also we get two. I didn't know we had two archer towers. What are they? What are you doing? Let me put this together so I don't forget that again. And then of course the sweeper, good for um, defending dragons and stuff. But again, not a top priority. And then this wizard tower needs to be upgraded as well. So what is next? Uh, the arch tower, awesome. All right, we're just doing the cheaper upgrades for now because we want to pour a lot of this uh, gold into the walls. We're also gonna keep our elixir in preparation for that rage spell, which is coming in our laboratory in a week. It does take a long time to get elixir, so I'm gonna. To hold on to it and um i want to collect that but i can handle not doing it so uh the next thing is we're gonna pour all this gold into the walls and then call this a day it's been a long episode um i thank you for sticking around with me hopefully you learned something let me know in the comments again how this, the plan sounds and also hi what you think of it and um anyway 3.6 million gold on this portion of the walls let me zoom in for you uh right there okay here we go 3.6 million three two one bam 
Oh, man, that was a lot of gold, but it's okay. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's do some more. Let's do, uh, is this gonna work right here? 2.8 million, almost. Let me pull this one out. Is this gonna work? 2.4 million. Okay, one more. There we go. We're gonna spend all of our, our loot, all of our gold on our walls right here and now. Three, two, one. Bam! All right, guys, we are gold broke. Let me fix my walls because it drives me nuts when they're messed up. And we have made some incredible process, progress on the base, guys. It has been an incredible experience. I'm loving every second of fixing this base. I feel like it's challenging my Clash intellect a lot. Um, deciding what to do in the laboratory, deciding what to do on the base. It's been a lot of fun, guys. Again, let me know what you think in the comments. Like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you have not joined that there Klaus family. And uh, as always, I love you guys, and I will see you guys again next time.